Um, so again, everybody should be in place and our crews are going to begin to assess the impacts and the damages and, and the potential hazards as soon as we can safely get out there. We are getting a lot of calls uh, as of, you know, for several hours about people who are not able to flush their toilets. These are a lot of the calls that we are getting into the emergency operations center. And I want to explain to you, and Mark's going to go into more detail because we really de do need everybody to pay attention on this, um, what is going on. This is regarding your sewer system. It is an issue called inflow and il infiltration, often known as I&I. &I. Um, and this is when stormwater or groundwater, which would normally go through the drainage system, actually ends up in the sewer system and overwhelms the sewer system. And that is what we are experiencing right now in Jefferson Parish, um, both on the East Bank and the West Bank. So let's just do quickly what goes in your sewer system, all of your household um, things that you would expect your, your, you, when you flush your toilet, when you do your laundry, when you're washing your dishes, uh, the dishwasher, the, the kitchen sink, and the dishwasher. All of that normal household water goes through the sewer system. And as I said, the sewer system through the cracks in the pipe or through openings underground is also taking on storm water. We've, it's been raining a long time. Last week we came into the storm with saturated soils with a lot of rain. It's been raining a lot today. So our sewer system is taking on this groundwater or storm water. And through the, the openings in the pipes, uh, because we do have an aging sewer system. And so basically the system is getting overwhelmed. And the water has nowhere else to go, and it's, it's literally it's getting backed up. And that's why you're having difficulties flushing your toilet, or maybe there's manhole covers that are bubbling up and popping off the manhole cover. And what we're asking people is to really r limit your household water usage because what will happen is it will back, we, we could have houses that it will back up into your house. So that's why uh, about an hour or two ago we put out a message to really start limiting the water that you use in your house. Mark is going to go through this issue that we're having and what we're going to tackle as soon as we can when we get out there even more, okay? And as we said, one of the biggest things that we did in our term of office last term is we will bring you a modern sewer system. Uh, this is a 20-year project. It's not in place now. Uh, we do have a lot of improvements happening and under construction, but this is a result of, of an aging system, an aging sewer system, but we have already, uh, we're going to, we already have projects working to take care of some of those things. Okay, um, and again, for the sewer system, we have more than 500, I think it's 514 lift stations throughout the parish, 1,800 per pumps working the system. It's a very, very large system, but we are seeing this problem on both um, the East, East Bank and West Bank. And um, crews are working di diligently now and in investigating where the sewer backups are now. We have SCADA system, which is you know a data system that we're able to see, and we are going to be bring in vacuum trucks, portable pumps, generators as well to, to help these overwhelmed lift stations. So again, I'm going to bring up Mark Drews in a little bit to talk more about the I&I &I problem. Just as a reminder, as we move on, um, all Jefferson Parish offices and facilities will remain closed tomorrow and garbage collection also will not play, take place tomorrow. And then we're glad to see that over 50, I think it's the last count, 53 individuals at Terrytown Playground, I was there uh, just a few hours ago, are there uh, seeking sturdy shelter. I was glad to see it. One couple, lovely couple I met, they were just afraid that the tree was going to fall on their house and they wanted to go there. So we were really glad that people took advantage of this um, until conditions Im improved. So 53 people got to Terrytown um, and, and we have our recreation staff and Jefferson Parish Human Services Authority and the Sheriff's Office. They are helping those people out. So I want to thank all of our employees with that effort at Terrytown. Okay, so as of a few minutes ago, I believe we still have 11,000 um, electrical outages throughout Jefferson Parish. They are scattered throughout the entire parish. No one place in particular, um, but that was the latest numbers that I got. And then we just want everybody to remember, we've been saying it for two days, stay put. The storm is coming over us now. It's, we're probably dealing with the, the worst effects for the next couple hours. It's nighttime anyway, so we really want everyone to stay put. But we need to work in the daylight too, so give us the time tomorrow to help clear the roads and make sure the communities are safe. Um, I say it and I keep saying it again. Um, the dangers post-storm are often worse than during storm. So give us an opportunity to go clear those roads and make sure the community is safe. There could be down wires. There could be trees blocking. There could be traffic signals that don't work. So let, let us get out there. Okay. The EOC phone number again, 
504-349-5360. If there is something blocking the road, if there is anything Public Works needs to do, 504-349-5360. But of course, during a life-threatening emergency, you still call 911. Okay, so with that, I'm going to bring Mark Drews up, who's going to go into more detail. Again, this is an inflow and infiltration issue we're having with our sewer system to talk about more about that issue we're having and what we're going to do um, as soon as we can to solve that. Okay, Mark. Uh, just to let everyone know, uh, with regard to drainage, all our drainage canals have been holding at a reasonable level, so we have not had any significant drainage issues. We are not aware of any major water line breaks. So on those fronts, we're good. Uh, sewer is our issue right now, and again, it's because of the age of our system. Uh, we have underground systems both on private and public property that have open joints and cracks. And the problem has been exacerbated. We've had so much rain over the past week that the water table is already high. So the rain that we're getting now is not going into the soil to be absorbed or raising the water table. It's basically going into our sewer system. Uh, so what are we... What we can do, because right now we're hunkered down because it's too much wind, but we've already mobilized our emergency contractor. So at first light tomorrow, uh, that emergency contractor has the personnel available now, has the fuel necessary to run 36-inch pumps that we can put out, 8, 12-inch pumps, and those will be necessary because, as you can see now, as the strongest winds are coming in, we're starting to lose power. So that means some of our lift stations are going to go down. So we have the ability now, until energy can make those restorations, to either put temporary pumps in place, and our own sewer department has 20 portable generators and 20 portable pumps to uh, to put on top of that. So we'll be out in force addressing those issues. But also what we have with our emergency contract, he has seven Vactor trucks. The Vactor truck can go to a lift station that has no power, where that uh, volume of sewer has uh, basically overtopped that lift station. They can drain that lift station. We have 15 tanker trucks that hold 6,500 gallons. So that Vactor truck will empty it into a tanker truck. That tanker truck can leave to go to, a, to the uh, sewer treatment plant. That Vactor truck can then go to another lift station with an, another tanker truck and do the same thing. So we'll be out in force to do everything we can to mitigate the issues. Uh, it will take us could be a day or a couple of days before we can totally catch up and bring those wet wells down because all that gravity flow from the water that's coming into the pipes, it just drains by gravity to our sewer lift station. So we do ask that you continue to conserve water tomorrow. Uh, as soon as we believe everything is okay and we don't need to conserve water uh, that's going to go into that sewer system, we will let you know as soon as possible. So that will give you an update of where we are, and like I said, we will be attacking this problem first thing in the morning. If you are experiencing sewer that's starting to back up into your house, the one thing you can do, if you know where your sewer clean-out is, you can unscrew that cap, and the sewer will flow out of the sewer clean-out out onto your lawn instead of in your house. So if you are experiencing that, there is something you do if you know where your sewer clean-out is, and you can notify us. We will come if we know what that address is, and we will come wash down that lawn. Uh, so if you are experiencing that backup, that is something you can do if you can locate that sewer cleanup. Thank you. Mark, is it usually in the front of the house? Uh, typically, it look, it, it, typically your sewer clean-out is more than likely it it's, should be, it'll be on private property, it'll be fairly close typically to the sidewalk. Most sewer lines run down the side of either side of your house, uh, you know, and, and the sewer clean out sometimes are exposed, but over the years, a lot of people have covered them. So if you're going to look for your sewer clean out, that's about where you would look. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Okay, next we have Chief Administrative Assistant Sarah Babcock, who really has been leading our shelter initiatives and has some other updates for you. So, Sarah. Good evening, everyone. As the parish president mentioned, we currently have 53 uh, people and three pets at our shelter in Terrytown, um, and that operation is running really smoothly. We are asking that 
Um, people stay home right now while the heaviest winds and highest winds are upon us. You will be able to go to the shelter once those winds die down, but right now if you are at home, we ask that you remain there. We are going to continue to open and create more space for people as we see the impacts of the storm, if there's power outages, if there are homes that have been damaged. If you need assistance getting to Terrytown Playgrounds, you can call 504-349-5360 here at our Emergency Operations Center, and we'll work with you to schedule transportation beginning tomorrow morning to that location. We are still also helping individuals with medical needs. We will uh, work with the individual to determine what their medical need is and the best place for them to go post storm if they don't have electricity and need it for medical equipment. And you can reach our public health team at 504-323-1818. Finally, we are working to prepare for community oxygen distribution sites at two of our local fire stations uh, that would be made available again tomorrow um, morning if there are significant power outages that won't be resolved in a timely manner. So please be um, paying attention to Jefferson Parish information as we release uh, those sites and their opening. Thank you. Okay, and I want to thank Joe Valiente. He's our emergency operations manager. Um, he's led an incredible staff here and has had to handle so many issues over the past couple days. So you and your team, as always, have done great. Joe, thank you. Okay, this is a quick briefing, but we really wanted, did want to come on tonight and tell you what, what we know so far. Um, right now, again, the storm, we're going to see the worst effects. You need to stay put, please. And we'll say it again. Stay put. Give us time. Um, most businesses are closed tomorrow. You don't need to be out on the road early. Give us time tomorrow uh, in the daylight to, to get the community back together again. Last time, EOC phone number, if you need to report anything, 504-349-5360. Uh, and then if you're not on our text thread already, get on that. It's You want to text JP Alert to 888-777 or to our Spanish-speaking citizens, JP Noticias, to 888-777. Okay, with that, everybody stay safe. Everybody have a good night, and thank you. Thank you for tuning in.